Welcome to problem 6.1. In this particular case, we're looking at z-scores from the normal distribution. And we're trying to get comfortable with understanding the concept of representing the p-value represents the area underneath the curve. You can see that there's a printout for you. I'm going to set up something like this in Excel so that you can uh, do basically any of the problems. So I'm going to set up something very similar to this in Excel. But reading this information, so what is the area less than 1.57? So that would be the area. 1.57 would be a z-score to the right of the mean. And so we want the area from 1.57 all the way below. Remember, the 1.57 is the number of standard deviations. And we're using a standardized normal distribution with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. But it'll give us practice for next for upcoming problems where we have a mean that is not zero and a standard deviation that is not one. So just be careful that the you understand the z value is the number of standard deviations. So when we read this off the uh, screen, and then there is a worksheet, figure 616, that shows you how to use the Excel functions, and I'll go through that in more detail when, as it's created. All right, and I'll do the Excel video on this. So you just read it, 0.9418. So 94.18% of the area is to the left or below a standard deviation of 1.57. Now, a z-score of 1.84, so that means even further to the right, the value is 0 0.032. And you can just read that off. The probability of x is larger than 0 .0, you know, than, than a z-score of 1.84. You can see that what they've done is they've also taken one minus, but there is a function in Excel. Again, I'll show you the video on this that shows you'd be able to calculate the area above. So you don't have to do that uh, manually. So in this particular case, the next one is it was looking for a slice. What is the area between 1.57 and 1.84? So if 1.84 is 96.71% and 1.57 is 94.18. The area between the two, the slice of the normal distribution is 0 0.0253 or 2.53%. Now, if we're looking in part D, it wants to know the area less than 1.57 or greater than 1.58, sorry, 1.84 you want the areas outside of that. So in C, you want the area between the two numbers. And in D, you want the area outside, below and above. So one of the ways that you can do that is simply subtract the value that you calculated before, a 0 0.0253, and subtract it from one. That's the way that I would have done it if I already have it calculated in part C, then that's what I'm going to do. And again, I will show you how to do this in Excel. What I'm going to try and do is set up an Excel spreadsheet that is very similar to what you see in figure 616. And I will include a side, just as they have in figure 616. I'll include and show you the function that they have, the Excel function. There's, there's two uh, sort of tables within the figure and I'll create both of them and then we'll be able to do any of the calculations that we want.